flatten on impact for maximum wounding effect. Very nasty. Yes, I'm sure it is. But just tell me where it was made and by whom. Well, fortunately, it's all in one piece. 20.003 grams, which leads us to deduce it was fired from a 4.2 millimeter gun. Carthorpe, there's no such thing as a 4.2 millimeter gun. The fact that no recognized munitions manufacturer, military or civil, produces such a bullet doesn't mean it doesn't exist, 007. Q Branch have been making irregular calibers for most unusual purposes. And we don't put markings or serial numbers on them. Making identification almost impossible. You mean to say there is no way to trace that bullet? No idea what it went through to get here. No, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. The workmanship is undemanding, according to our standards. Soft 23 carat gold with traces of nickel. Hardly ever used in Europe. Comes from India. Far East. Oh, why not India? Nickel content obviously too low, 007. Lazar? Lazar. Hmm. Imaginative. Highly specialized. Yes, I concur. Well, what the hell is Lazar? Not what. Who? Portuguese. Lives in Macau. Chap who made the bullet, 007. 